This is Avid Research Extras, where we answer the questions that you never quite got around to asking with a bit of extra cartoon help. Today, we're discussing why you shouldn't explode the dead whale on the beach. It all started when I was a ranger in Far East Gippsland, Victoria. So that's about a five, six hour drive east of Melbourne. A dead whale washed up on quite a popular beach. This then resulted in us asking the question, how do you get rid of quite a large dead whale? Personally, I wasn't too sure, but suddenly there were a whole lot of experts on our hands. People who had all sorts of ideas from, you should bury the whale, you should tow the whale out to sea, and of course, you should blow up the whale. So it looked like we had three options. One, bury the whale. Two, tow the whale back out to sea. And three, explode the whale, also known as the people's favourite. Let's have a look at those three options. First idea, bury the whale. This is a bad idea for a whole lot of reasons, as it turns out. One, dead whales are actually a biohazard. A decomposing whale has a whole lot of diseases that a human can actually catch. Buried, that dead whale, well, smells terrible because it's a giant decomposing thing of flesh. This isn't particularly good for any form of tourism. It's also, as it turns out, a source of ivory. There are ivory hunters out there, even in Far East Gippsland, and the ivory hunters would have come to dig up the whale. Additionally, the whale was leeching out this smell that said, come here sharks, there is a buffet. That would not have gone away had the whale been buried, and for months and months afterwards, the whale would have been essentially a siren to all the sharks in the local area saying, come and eat me. Again, not fantastic for tourism. Very unfortunately, we're going to have to cross out the option of burying the whale. Next option, tow the whale. As it turns out, it's really, really hard to move something heavy off the beach by boat. You just don't get a lot of traction. So physically, not a very likely option. Also, it turns out it's kind of illegal to dump a dead whale in the ocean. And it's a shipping hazard. So we're going to skip past this one. That's two down. Now, for the people's favourite, let's explode the whale. Experiments have been done. There's actually footage of people in America blowing up a whale. They thought it was an excellent way of disposing of the carcass. The town was known for a very long time as a smelly town. Basically, all you do when you explode a whale is you paint the landscape with lots of small pieces of biohazard smelly material that then decomposes over time over a larger area. Not ideal for sharks, not ideal from a biohazard perspective, just not safe all round. So might be an attractive idea, might sound cool, not going to happen. So we've just ruled out three options for removing this whale. What did we do? We saw that bad weather was on the way, so we decided to wait and see what nature would do. As it turns out, the weather was bad enough to scoop the whale back off the beach and then transport the whale very conveniently to the local boat ramp. This was clearly to the glee of the sharks that had been waiting this entire time to eat the dead whale. There were significant portions of that whale missing in shark-shaped holes. Once the whale had washed up on the boat ramp, It was then available to large machinery and was buried in a quiet inland spot where it is able to decompose safe from sharks and from ivory hunters. Please don't blow up whales. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you're feeling a little bit more informed about the world today. And if you want to hear more about this story, check out the links below, which head over to the podcast where you can hear this in slightly more detail and also click subscribe. We've got some more content, which is going to be awesome coming your way.